Hi, so today we will be demonstrating a robotic sleeve gastrectomy to you. This is a patient with BMI 46 and we are using the Hugo Ras robotic system to do a robotic sleeve gastrectomy. So a lot of people have curiosity about robotic surgery and bariatric surgery. So let me show you what a robotic surgery is. Now if you see this part, this is a robotic surgery console. Now it has multiple facets to it. We have some arm towers over there. I'll explain you about the console. So this is the surgeon glasses which has refractive markers on it. So it is a safety feature by Medtronic. That means when I see it only towards the screen, uh, the robot will be working. The moment my eyes go off the screen, the robot gets locked. So it gives you a nice three-dimensional view about uh, the surgery. So now if you see, these are the operating arms, two arms which I have, which are uh, equipped with uh, IR lasers so that it guesses my arm movements so that if any false movements happen, it will be sensed. Only the surgeon's robotic arm movements will be gifted. I can adjust the height of the console uh, by these buttons. It has a lot of safety features in it. Then you have the screen over here, which is a nice full HD screen, which will give a nice 3D inside view of the robot. Now the other important part of robotic surgery is the arm consoles. So we have four arm consoles. Each weighs around 250 kgs and is made up of titanium. This arm has multiple levers along which the movement happens inside the patient's body. So if you see, this is by Medtronic Hugo Ras system. And when it moves, it creates very fine movements inside the patient's body. It's made up of titanium and we have one, two, three and four arms pertaining to this. This is the vision tower of the robotic uh, system, the Hugo Ras system. It gives a nice uh, 2D picture over here and 3D picture over the surgeon console. It is equipped with light source uh, with the inbuilt uh, value lab cautery and uh, four stride cautery. And um, whatever we attach, once the arm position is complete, you can see all the guidance. And if there is any mismatch or any error, it will be depicted here on the robotic system. This is how we put uh, the regular ports which are specially made for the robot and uh, we insert them manually and once the ports are inserted we dock them with the robot. So now we have seen a robotic bariatric surgery. So this patient is going to be discharged in a day. So the typical hospital stay is 48 hours and then they get discharged. And then they are within four to five days, they are able to do all the routine activities. We expect him to lose around 80 to 90% of his excess weight in a span of four to six months. So in the first month, maybe he'll lose around somewhere around 10 to 12 kgs. And then every month he loses four to six kgs. So in six to eight months, his weight will be normal, near normal. But weight is one issue. The resolution of comorbidities, like this patient who has diabetes, is taking insulin and antihypertensives, his insulin will be stopped. He will be on a single anti-diabetic medicine and that too will get stopped in a couple of months and he'll become a normal person taking without any diabetic medications. So the benefit of robotic surgery is it is much more precise than a regular laparoscopic surgery. 
areas which are inaccessible for laparoscopic surgery we can easily access with uh, robotic bariatric surgery like the G junction where we require a uh, very perfect anastomosis to be done for a Roux-en-Y gastric bypass. Such cases robotic is significantly beneficial as the hand tremors and uh, surgeon related factors are eliminated in robotic surgery. So all obese patients waiting out there, this is the best chance to get a robotic bariatric surgery because Care Hospital Banjara Hills is the only center which has a comprehensive plan of robotic bariatric surgeries. We have a dedicated team of robotic surgery, uh, laparoscopic surgery, di diabetologist, physician, intensivist, anesthetist and the entire framework of pulmonology included. So you will benefit the max with this infrastructure. Thank you.